And welcome everybody to an historic day at Syracuse University Athletics. I'm Matt Park along with John Wildhack, the new athletic director here. We come to you from the Dome Experience inside the uh, football wing off of uh, Manly Fieldhouse. And John, this is one of the facilities that uh, wasn't here when you were a student. Uh, what a change for you, what an acclimation process this will be. We're excited for you. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Matt. I'm excited and it's, a, uh, it's an unbelievable <laughs> opportunity and to come back to a place that had such an impact on my life and has been so influential. Is, uh, it's pretty special. I think as a jumping off point, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I would assume that you didn't pound the table at ESPN for 30 some odd years thinking, oh, I'm going to be an athletic director someday. But being part of Syracuse, is th that's more what this move is for you, right, than necessarily the job itself. Absolutely. I mean, I've had an unbelievable run at ESPN. Uh, the people at ESPN are absolutely world-class, mm -hmm. awesome people. Never in my wildest dreams, you know, did I imagine leaving. The only place I'd leave ESPN for is Syracuse University. And to, uh, to come back and to have this opportunity, it's, uh, I mean, it's literally, it's a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity. And, we decided uh, as a family, let's 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 go for it. <laughs> we talk frequently about the draw of the university, uh, particularly as students. Anything you want to be in the world, you can be by coming through Syracuse. In your case, you went the the route of many here through uh, Newhouse yes. and into uh, sports broadcasting. Maybe pick it up in terms of your career ascension from a, a producer to then somebody calling the shots. Well, it was just again, it's you know what Newhouse gave me was a foundation. Mm -hmm. Gave me a great foundation. And I think that gave me an advantage, frankly, when I started ESPN. And then, you know, the ESPN has grown immensely over the years. Um, and with that came opportunity and to, uh, to be able to be presented new mm -hmm. opportunities and new challenges has been very, very rewarding. So it's, uh, it's been an unbelievable chapter in my life. And, you know, now I'm ready to start, uh, start a new one to Syracuse. What was your involvement from afar? I, I know your family, we've seen you at games. Uh, how close tabs did you keep on football, basketball, and all the rest? Very close. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a passionate Syracuse fan. I've, I've been one since the day uh, I enrolled here. Uh, my family, my two, uh, my two young sons are also passionate Syracuse fans. So, you know, it's, it's frequently a topic of conversation around the dinner table. <laughs> As a professional, John, you can keep an eye on Syracuse, but your job for the company at ESPN is to innovate, to make productions, to make deals. Uh, what of those things, and maybe it's right down to techniques that have been honed at ESPN as an industry leader, what do you bring from that experience to your position here? Yeah, I think one thing that ESPN taught me is, is change is our constant companion, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you need to embrace change. And I think we need to challenge ourselves you know, on a daily basis. What do we do that's really good? How do we do it better? Uh, we need to challenge ourselves, where can we improve? And then, and then put our shoulder behind that. And, and ultimately create just an incredible experience for our student athletes, our coaches, and our fans. Yeah, you know, it's interesting the way you come at it. And you have predecessors at other schools that have come maybe straight out of the business world. They weren't working their way up through a, a given athletic department. So in that regard, it is a bit of a non-traditional uh, move uh, to, to have you for this position. With that in mind, what do you see as a transition for you into this world that you've obviously dealt with conference commissioners, et cetera, throughout college sports from a certain vantage point. How do you fill in the gap in your experience and exposure uh, coming here to this spot? Well, I think the one thing it does help me is, is college sports has been so important to ESPN mm -hmm. and the growth of ESPN. I've been involved in that. I've had the pleasure to be involved in that. So whether it's conference commissioners, the NCA, ADs, et cetera, that type of thing, I've been exposed to it. So I think that could short circuit for me the learning curve. Um, part of it is I'm going to uh, rely heavily on, uh, on the athletic department, on the senior staff. We've got a great group of people. Um, they are passionate. They care. They're committed. And the place is, you know, we're, in a, we're in a really strong position. Mm -hmm. So it's, all right, how do we take something that's really good and how do we make it better? Is there something at ESPN that the fans probably, they don't know your job description or exactly what you've been involved in, but there's probably been a bunch of things, whether it's bowl arrangements, uh, what time the kickoffs are, that type of thing. Right. You've got your hands on that from Bristol. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, it's, college has been such a big part of ESPN and I've been, you know, part of it from, you know, the early days as a, you know, as an associate producer through, mm -hmm. uh, through production, through programming. So, you know, that's, you know, the, uh, the language of college sports, um, you know, I've, I know that pretty well. <laughs> you talked about timing, John, and you come in on the heels of statistically the best year in the mm -hmm. history of the Syracuse University Athletics. The performance has been well chronicled and off the charts, uh, particularly in the Olympic sports. When you now have your name on the door, 
Um, how do you set out to view that as maintenance, view it as excelling in other areas, strike while the iron's hot? How, where, do you, where do you take those? Well, I think one of the things that I want to do is, is work with everyone, work mm -hmm. with our coaches, our staffs, uh, their staffs, uh, the athletic department, the university administration. We want to build a program that has, can have sustained success. Mm -hmm in all our sports. So that way the, you know, the, the performance that we enjoyed this year is that becomes the standard. And I think we should be aspirational. We should set high goals for ourselves. Um, obviously, you know, there's an opportunity with football. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know Coach Babers mm -hmm. throughout this process. I like the fact that he has a defined system that he believes in, that he's run, that he's had success with, that he's won a, won a conference championship with. And I'm uh, I, I think that bodes well for us uh, for the football program. Yeah, he certainly doesn't lack in confidence and in energy, which will be fun to see you put your print on it and sell that. You know, uh, you look at the largest plates here, football, basketball, the Dome, which is the most important facility arguably in the entire region. Um, the course is plotted for those for the foreseeable future. You come in, but the you know the concrete isn't dry in the new dome. It hasn't even started. Right? right. So how can you come in with your background, your vantage point, and put your touch on it? Well, I think one of the things yeah, we you know I'll work with Pete Sal and his mm -hmm. team, and you know, we're we're going to do things as a team, and we're going to be right. a collaborative group. But the dome is it's it's an iconic venue. It's one of the great venues not only in college sports but in all sports. And I think you know we renovate and we update the dome, and we can create. You know, a game day experience, which is unbelievable mm -hmm. for our fans, unbelievable for our student athletes, and creates something that really integrates well with the entire university. You know, there's a lot of different ways we talk about somebody that has a familiarity with the university and why that might be a positive for someone who works here, certainly in, in your position. Is there an example of something that because you've been to games at Archbold, Manly, the Dome, et cetera, that now you can match that with your professional experience and now the ability uh, to pull the trigger here a little bit. What does that make you, uh, John, in terms of uh, your effectiveness and, and how does it help that you've walked through these same halls as a lot of the students have? Well, I think the fact that <clears throat> I'm familiar with so much, again, that just accelerates my onboarding. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it cuts down on the educational time for me. Sure. Um, so that, you know, that then allows me to work with the staff and everybody else and say, all right, how do we improve all aspects of the department? So I think that's, you know, that, that's, that's something that uh, you know, provides me an advantage. And lastly, uh, John, just as the, the viewer, the fan, you know, the Joe and Susie ticket buyer, how, how will they notice you and in, in your impact? Are you an in front of the scenes guy, a fade into the woodwork guy, lead by example? What, what do we maybe expect from you? I prefer, I prefer to lead by example, Matt. Mm -hmm. When we have success, all the credit We'll go to our student athletes, we'll go to the coaches, the coaching staff, and we will thank our fans. Mm -hmm. uh, and our fans are so impactful and so important in the impact they have on our student athletes, our coaches. Um, you know, I invite our fans to come to experience all mm -hmm. Syracuse University athletic events. And we appreciate their support, we need their support, and we want to provide them a product which is second to none. Well, it's exciting stuff. I know you've kept close ties for all these times yes. and coming back to the university and into the area. And as, as far as that necktie, I'm sure you didn't buy that this week. Um, I did not buy <laughs> it this week, but I wear it proudly today, and I'll wear it proudly in the future, Matt. Awesome stuff. We're excited. Good luck. Thanks, Matt. Thank okay. you. John Wildhack, the new director of athletics, certainly much more on his ideas coming forward here at Q's.com.